the next thing you might want to do is to, to add some text. Um, so let's say I'm, I'm going to add an introduction to say, hey, you know, this is what the DSR is. Um, there's a couple ways to do that. So I'm going to save and exit and show you a few options that you have for adding text on your DSR. So the first way that I'm going to do it is a way that um, might change depending on your personal preference and workflow. If you go to the edit property section, I can write a custom message. So this is where the custom message will appear um, in my DSR if I write it in the um, edit properties section. Okay, so then I'm gonna hit save and you'll see where that text appears on my DSR. So right here is where this text will show up. So you can use this space to explain to the people the purpose of this page. Um, and generally, less is more with DSRs. So um, you don't have to write a whole bunch, but you might want to explain to people what these pieces of content are. So another way that you can add information um, in your DSR is by adding content um, over here. So the add and organize content. And instead of adding a video content, or um, you can also add any, you know, PDFs or anything else you've uploaded into the and power system that's safe to share externally, I'm gonna go ahead and add a smart panel. So I wanna show you what the smart panels are. So these are several different templates that you can choose from that um, are basic, basically sections, but instead of the section that we had before where all it did was give me a heading, this section is going to allow me to add some extra text, maybe an image. Um, so let's start with just like the basic text. And so if you scroll down, you're going to see you have a few options here. Let's go ahead and, and just use this content block. When I click it, I just hit add smart panel. Um, and then I'm going to hit the X button on the top left. And now you see I have a new panel here. So instead of this, I could just write it here. Or I could do both. I could write this information inside of my edit properties section and I can add a new panel. Like let's say I want to explain to them, you know, what this about us section is. So I can move it down here and I see my horizontal blue line and then I can drop and I want to explain, you know, what we do. So I'm going to explain, uh, you know, take a minute to explore some of these uh, videos that I've um, offered you here below that show some of the training courses that we produce. Uh, part of our team uh, produces this content um, and I can just kind of explain, you know, what it is that they're seeing in the DSR. So that text is, is a good option. And then you can format the text. So you could um, make it bold if you want to bold. Uh, italic, you can underline the text, um, and then these formatting options include strike through, uh, subscript, if you need to subscript anything, and then superscript, um, and you can adjust the font size. So you could make it, you know, really big, or you could make it uh, smaller. And, and so basically anything that you would expect from a, a standard um, text editor, you have all of those options here. You can also change the color of the text um, by selecting one of those um, options. But if you have a specific hex code um, that perhaps you use as part of your brand so that your company always uses a specific shade of red or a specific uh, shade of blue or whatever um, colors uh, you may want to incorporate. If you have a very specific shade, you could also just put in the hex code, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you also have the option to add like a background color. So for example, if I wanted it to be blue text on top of a yellow highlight or something, I would wish I wouldn't recommend <laughs> visually. It doesn't look that great, but you have the option because you might want to use this um, in, for something specific. You can also um, add these different options here, um, and then you can clear the formatting if you're just like, nope, none of, and you need to just highlight everything and then clear the formatting to start over. Um, you also have the option to align left, which is what it is now, 
a line center, um, or you can add uh, an ordered list if you want something uh, numbered. You can also insert a link. So let's say over here, I'm saying Sparks IQ, and I want to insert the link to our website because I want to drive them to sparksiq.com. Um, I would go ahead and just highlight Sparks IQ, and then I would click the insert link, and um, I would want to make sure to add www.sparksiq.com here and then hit insert. So uh, when people are looking at it, they could just click it as a hyperlink, um, which is helpful. So you can add hyperlinks throughout your DSR. You can also insert images where you can drop an image um, or you can click if you want to upload a thumbnail. Um, you can also uh, insert an image by URL. So there's tons of options here. You can add a horizontal line if you're trying to separate any of these sections visually. And then you have uh, this option here, which is to select all. So you can decide to name this panel or you can leave it unnamed and because you, maybe you don't want this showing up um, on the left-hand side, but just take note of the fact that if you highlight all of this and then you hit backspace or delete, um, it will delete that entire section that you just created. So watch out for that. So make sure that before you do all this work and then accidentally delete the section when you mean to delete the title, um, that you that you don't un undo that. <laughs> so just a quick heads up about creating and editing those smart panels. You don't want to accidentally delete all that work that you just put in. Um, so let's show you uh, another option for adding smart panels. So let's hit add smart panel, something that I really like to do at the bottom of every one of my DSRs is to add a call to action uh, to contact me if they need any uh, help or if they have any questions. And these here, these templates are really uh, useful for that. You can choose any of the ones that you like visually. Um, let's just go ahead and I'll say I'll grab this one and click add smart panel hit X and I'm going to drag this all the way to the bottom, which is where it kind of makes sense. Um, and you want to make sure to drop it. And if you're having this issue where you're like, well, I'm trying to drop it and the blue line isn't showing up under my about us section, just go here to the right, because sometimes if you're dragging something to the very bottom, um, it it doesn't necessarily do that as seamlessly as you might expect. So just a quick heads up on if you're trying to drag that down there and you're not seeing that horizontal blue line, if it's the last element on your DSR, you just need to go ahead and drag it to, until you see that vertical blue, um, blue line. So now I've added this new smart panel and I can use this section to say, you know, contact us. Then maybe here I want to say, you know, uh, don't hesitate to reach out or, uh, you know, you can call us at this number or whatever I want to write. So I can add any kind of information here. And um, the cool thing about this panel is that it does automatically default to this template that I showed you earlier, which is just a hyperlink. So if you want to link like, hey, check out more of our content on our website or on our YouTube channel or anywhere else that might be relevant to the person or the people you're sharing this DSR with, um, you just hover here and then you can click edit link. Um, you could also unlink uh, or you can open the link. So in this instance, it just goes straight to Allego because we haven't adjusted it. So if I hit edit link, I'm going to edit this and let's say I want them to go to Sparks IQ. Um, and I want the text to say Sparks IQ. Uh, then I do Sparks IQ and then I just hit update. Um, and now when I click over here and I click off of it, you'll be able to see the Sparks IQ hyperlink. Um, and you can do this with email addresses or, or anything else that's, that's relevant to you. Um, and the next thing I wanted to show you is that I can add, you know, contact us up here if I wanted to, um, or I could just deselect, like I don't want it listed in the navigation. That's an option, and I just want to show you uh, what will happen if you choose this, because then you'll notice it doesn't appear 
in the navigation menu on the left. So let's go ahead and hit save and exit just so you can see the difference between when you select um, to list it in the navigation and when you choose not to. So you'll see the word new panel that was here originally that just goes away, which is really great. So what I mentioned earlier, if you delete that, you'll actually delete the whole panel. You don't need to delete those words. So I just wanted to kind of show you that. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is how to have a little more fun with those um, smart panels uh, to design a little bit more, uh, you know, some visual flair or add organization to your DSR. I mean, this is honestly good enough, you know, for especially if you're just starting out. Uh, but if you want to take it to the next level, let's go back to add smart panel. And we can go ahead and play with some of these sections here. So let's grab this one, for example, and I'm gonna hit add smart panel, and then I'm gonna hit X, and I'm going to maybe instead of the, um, you know, about us title here, I'm gonna want to say, watch uh, examples of our work, for example. And then you can have a, a subheading here, you can uh, change this text or you can delete it. Um, and so if you do delete it and it says type something, that type something will go away um, whenever you hit save and exit. So watch examples of our work and maybe I'd want to save that um, above this about us section. Um, and the cool thing about these smart panels is you'll notice on the top left, you have this option to swap out the images. So um, if I click on this image um, button here, for example, let's go ahead and use this thumbnail. Um, I'm gonna click OK and then it takes a minute to load. And so this is something you wanna pay attention to. If you're using an image like this, you wanna use one that, that doesn't crop awkwardly. Um, and so you may have to pick a different picture or crop the image um, in a way that it's not like an awkward crop. Um, so let's show you a different option for that that might make more sense. So I'm going to hit the this one just as an example. Um, and then, you know, internet speed test, maybe that's um, something that I wanted to show. Um, if you're looking for an image that is uh, maybe not something you've created and you just want something that kind of looks cool, um, you might want to go to unsplash.com, which is a great resource. There's lots of these websites out there where you can get um, just cool visuals that might be relevant to um, what you sell. Your marketing team might have a ton of this for you, some stock images, uh, but if they don't um, and you're looking for, you know, screws, for example, Maybe your company sells screws and you just really like this image. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use this as an example. Um, I can, uh, you know, select any of these. Um, and and the reason why, like, oh, this one's kind of cool. The reason why I would pick this one is because a lot of the content is relevant in the middle and there's there's really no kind of awkward, awkward way to crop that. So I'm just gonna download that because all of these are, are fair use. So you can use these if you want. Um, you can click on this button and I'm just gonna go straight to my downloads and, and test this out and see what that would look like. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, and uh, this happens to be white on black, so you can read this, which is great. But if for whatever reason, the color of your background image makes your text not easy to read, you can go in here and remember you can you can change the color of your text. So in this instance, the contrast kind of works because it's white on black, but if, um, if you needed to, you could change the color so that it doesn't default to white. Um, and then let's go ahead and um, select, uh, well, maybe I don't wanna list this in the navigation and just hit save and exit. So I'm gonna save and exit and then you'll see, you know, what this would look like. Uh, you'll watch examples of our work and you know this might not be the picture that you choose maybe you choose another picture uh, but this is just an example of how you would add that um, and then maybe you want to add another one above meet the team and have a whole bunch of smart panels that kind of show you different um, different things and you can kind of build this like your own personal um, website um, so those are a couple of the things that you can do with DSRs um, before we wrap this one up 
I'm going to go back to add an organized content and show you another smart panel. So um, those big ones, like the ones that we just added um, are are large and that might be what you're looking for, but you can also accomplish the same thing with like a slimmer banner. Um, and so you can select this one and you can adjust the text formatting the same way. So if you don't want it to be this large, you can make a smaller one this way. You may also want to add a section where perhaps you're incorporating uh, testimonials. And so let's um, add this quick insert titles for quotes or contacts and then hit X. And perhaps I'm going to want to um, showcase, you know, some of the reasons why people choose the, our company over other companies. Um, these templates kind of make it really easy for you to do that. And you can swap all these out. And then, you know, if you don't want their name, you can delete that or you can delete the, this image if you wanted to. So there's a ton of other options here in the smart panel section that you may want to explore and see how it could be relevant for you. Um, the smart panels are just a great way to showcase um, additional information that's that's relevant for the person you're sending it to in a more visually appealing way that you might be used to with um, with regular websites. But this is a very easy, you know, no coding needed. You don't need to do any HTML or CSS. This is just a very easy click and, you know, drag and drop interface.